Welcome back guys, uh, comrades, this is Gaming with Austin, and today, we are going towards Season 2, Episode 1. What I'm going to do this um, for Season 2, loaded up. M might think about working a little more aggressively in season two. Just like, just like this. <clears throat> like, I'm gonna max out the building height. Like, I have to... I just hope Minecraft increases their limit to 512 blocks. <sighs> Let's hope Minecraft increases their limit. It's New Year's Day, by the way. That's a hot limit right there. <laughs> See, that's a hot limit right there. 256 blocks.
The Salmonella case, like, let's talk about some topics for this episode. On, uh, has any of y'all heard the website called For Affinity before? Nineteen forty four. Eventually, whenever I run out of ideas, I do a spin-off series called That's for my Facebook Messenger, by the way. I'll do a spin-off series called Minecraft University. I'll do a spin-off series called Minecraft University. Which will be a spin-off series. It'll take place in the same world as the Utopian Community series. It's gonna take place in the same world.
It'll take place in the same world. You know, in a supply and demand model, food, the demand for food always correlates to the population of the planet. The reason the demand for food is so high is that if we didn't eat, we would all die. We would lose productivity from malnutrition. We would lose malnu no, we would lose productivity to uh, to malnutrition. <sighs> when pe if everybody stopped eating, productivity would drop because of malnutrition. The reason why society allowed us to be lazy from the start is it was a, uh, it was an instinctive behavior back in, in the Stone Age. Because humans, like all animals, have to conserve their energy just to survive. T to m minimize energy usage to optimize their survival. One method of conserving your energy is to not eat as much. That's one way of conserving your energy. It's, it's to not eat as much. That's how I conserve my energy. Because when you eat less, your metabolism slows down. You're not just losing weight from eating less, your metabolism is also slowing down. <laughs> Your metabolism is also slowing down, too. Never goes to the... universal health care the only problem there is is that corporations will suffer it like the health insurance 
and big pharma corporations would suffer, which would be a good thing for us, working class men, but bad for the neo-Nazis and the wealthy. <laughs> the food ration that the, my regime would impose would make sure there's enough food for everybody. If you, if you really want to stop deforestation, one thing you need to do is stop eating meat. I know some of us don't want to, but this may be, it may be our only option, uh, eventually. A lot of people think climate change is only a thing with fossil fuels. It's more than just fossil fuels. There's another factor we need to know about, and it has to do with our diets. It has to do... Uh, something... It's something that has to do with our diets, too. If we don't eat meat... at all... More land would be used in the collective, uh, in the economic planning policies of, of our regime. We would have vertical farms that are climate controlled. Your cats. The reason for the universal veterinary care is pets, we need, they need glorious treatment. With the collective leadership in the socialist state. The leader would be elected democratically. The problem with universal health care is that it'd be problematic for experimental drugs. Especially really hard for um, for the experimental drugs with the economic planning policies glass bottles can be recycled
An innovation would happen through economic planning. Planning can help us get better with our economy. How am I going to get people to produce more? The proof that minimum wages don't destroy jobs is that look at Seattle. Busts the myth. The problem with a meat tax is think of cat owners. They have to feed their cats meat. That's the problem with a meat tax right there. their cats a lot of meat because cats are not omnivores they are not omnivores they are obligate carnivores are not omnivores. Dogs are. Cats are not. Cats are one of only a few mammals that must eat meat. For herbivores like rabbits, their food is readily available. really easy to find, but hunting is a lot harder than you think. With cats being obligate carnivores, the meat tax w would be really hard on cat owners. Because cats are obligate carnivores. They are not omnivores. But you know, dogs are omnivores.
-hmm. And cats must eat meat to survive. Dogs can get away with a vegan diet, if you're careful. The consequences of putting your cat on a vegan diet can be pretty deadly. Because cats don't have a choice. But if I was to impose a meat tax, it should only be for humans and dog food that has meat. Because unlike cats, dogs can get away with a vegan diet. As they are omnivores. Putting your cat on a vegan diet is like forcing your horse to eat meat. You're literally forcing a biologically inappropriate diet on an animal. Whether it be a farm animal, or a pet, or even a wild animal. Out in the wild, cats will hunt for their food. Their hunting has led to the extinction to several bird species. Which is why it's good to sterilize your pets. Which is why it's good to sterilize your pets. Meaning, for the male pets, have them castrated, meaning rip their balls out. For females, like, for dogs, for the males, have their balls ripped out. For the bitches, take their uterus out. <clears throat> yes, I'm using bitch to refer to fe a female dog. The ho my household, me and my brother and my mom share a household. Household, the two bitches, one male dog. Now, I'm not the only household. I know this is a little personal. The word bitch has more than one definition. When I refer to bitch, I've, I refer to a female canine species. A female
female canine. Whether it be a um, like a me um, a female dog. It's one of the definitions of the word bitch. I'm not using the word bitch to refer to someone who's being very bitchy. Because that's kind of inappropriate. I use the word... Because I try to keep it as family friendly as possible. Sort of. But uh, sometimes I get away with profanity. That's okay. People don't take profanity as seriously as they used to. Anyways, this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. Dislike if you disliked it. Subscribe for more. Share this with your comrades on social media. And as always, peace out.